Gentlemen, remove their caps for the playing of the national anthem. Welcome to another CTV Sports presentation. CTV Sports is brought to you by Magna. Magna Magna.com slash careers. With support from LaFontaine Chevy, Buick GMC, where you get the family deal. By Murphy Inn, restaurant and hotel in St. Clair. By LaFontaine Ford, where you get the family deal. And by North Star Bank, North Star guiding the way. And by CTV, Community TV in Marine City in St. Clair. Now let's join our announcers for more East China Sports. Well, welcome. We're going to be finishing up the national anthem here. Welcome to a beautiful night at East China Stadium. We're here with CTV to cover the lacrosse game between Sinclair High School and Birmingham Seahome. Uh, tonight's game is uh, going to be exciting, and for some of you who are unfamiliar with lacrosse, it's a uh, fast-moving physical game. Uh, has a little bit of a cross between uh, soccer, hockey, football, and, and a number of other sports. Uh, it's fast moving and we're going to begin the game in just one second. Just a little bit about lacrosse for those of you who are not familiar. Uh, the game is, for high school level, is divided up into four 12-minute quarters. Uh, each team will be made up of attackers. There will be three attackers on the offensive end, three midfielders in the center of the field who can play both defense and offense, as well as three defenders and a goalie. Uh, there's some unique rules that are a little bit different than soccer, a little bit different than hockey, and we'll kind of explain those as we go along. But uh, the matchup should be an exciting one. Players are out there with the officials in the middle of the stadium uh, getting ready for tonight's matchup. Got a beautiful afternoon out here. Uh, this is truly the beginning of spring. It was in the 70s today. We've got a very strong south breeze. I'm not sure if that's going to play a, a role in tonight's game, uh, but it is almost ideal conditions for a nice high school event. Goalies are heading back to their prospective goals. Uh, it's Jacob Markelzik for uh, the Saints. And I believe that is Conrad Swanson for Birmingham Sea. See home. It's going to be a unique, uh, what I'll call a face-off. Uh, both players will get down, and uh, and as the ball is dropped, uh, they will vie for the ball in the center of the field. Game has begun. As you can see, it is a fast-moving game. Players will carry the ball. Uh, as the St. Clair defenders are going to try to prevent that ball from heading into the goal. Shot on goal there by Seaholm. Missed. Seaholm uh, appears to maintain control of the ball. Stephen Kalen back there on defense. Again, uh, Seaholm still in control of the ball. One of the things that's unique about lacrosse, you'll see one of the offensive uh, attacker standing behind the goal. That's uh, that's common in, in lacrosse. Great congestion of players right in front of the net, and there was a goal. I couldn't quite catch the uh, player who got the goal, but it looks like the, there was a score for Birmingham Seaholm. No goal. Okay, it was not a goal. Okay, it was uh, called off. You can see there's a crease out in front of that net. Uh, the offensive player is not, the attacker is not allowed to go into that crease and uh, when the shot was given there was an attacker inside that crease. St. Clair again with control of the ball. Number 12, Connor Babel in control of the ball. Ball goes back over to number three, Andrew McBride. 
ball goes toward the back of the net. Again, uh, it's a very common for the uh, attacker to be in the back of the net. Number 22, Trevor Wallace. Trevor Wallace being a bit of a quarterback back there, kind of calling the plays and uh, getting the Saints set up for this offensive opportunity. Call as the ball will go the other way, back in the possession of Birmingham Seal. Play begins again, Seaholm with control. This time the goalie in possession of the ball. Ball heads up field with Seaholm. As you can see, lots of running. Uh, what's unique in soccer here, or correction, lacrosse, is that uh, there can be some contact. There is forms of checking out here that is uh, legal for this game. Big pass right out in front of the net. Uh, the shot went awry, though, for Birmingham Seaholm. Got a little bit of a stoppage of play as we retrieve the ball. Again, Seaholm with control of the ball. Seaholm player goes down. That's number 77 for Birmingham Seaholm. Noah Rosenfeld uh, fell to the ground there. We've got a little bit of a stoppage play, uh, some substitutions heading in for both teams. And in that, there was a goal for Birmingham Seaholm. That was Noel Rosenfeld who scored that goal for Birmingham Seaholm, number 77. Again, play begins as both uh, uh, midfielders are down on, uh, on, on all fours, and uh, as the ball is dropped, St. Clair gains control. St. Clair with the ball. Connor Babel against with ball. He goes to the turf, uh, but is able to get the ball back. Over to number eight, Jack Hurley. Jack Hurley over to number 32. That'll be Anthony Mazzaraza. The, goal, uh, the ball is uh, loose behind the net, and uh, Birmingham Seaholm will regain control. Again, we've got substitutions coming in for both sides. Ball goes upfield. Nice pass by Birmingham Seaholm. Ball loose on, on the turf. Both teams vying for that ball. Birmingham Seaholm maintains possession. Behind the net. Ball retrieved by Rosenfeld again for Seaholm, who scored that first goal. Ball goes in. Another goal for Birmingham Seaholm. I believe that was number 94, Will Forberg. Will Forberg, midfielder for Seaholm. It's one of the unique things about this game. There's a little hesitation in play. Uh, once a goal is scored, players head right back uh, to midfield and uh, begin play again. It's a fast-paced, fast-moving game, very physical. It's number 17 for St. Clair. Evan Hart with the ball. Evan Hart moving upfield. Up to number 21 for St. Clair. Matt Jones, ball loose. Okay, there's a turnover on the field. Ball will go back to Seaholm. Seaholm in control of the ball, running up field. Loses control of the ball. I don't think he quite knew he lost control, but he regained it. Seaholm with the ball, passing uh, behind the net. Nice defensive play. That's by defender number four, Max Hubbard. It's again Hubbard with the ball moving up field. Nice defensive play by Hubbard. St. Clair back in possession of the ball. 
Nice play going down there. Score! Let's see who got that for the Saints. That makes the game a two to one game. That's Jack Hurley on the goal, assist by number 22, Trevor Wallace. Great play by St. Clair. Makes this a two to one game. Again, this is extremely fast moving. Play is beginning already on the field right after that goal. St. Clair looking much uh, more in control in the last few minutes of the game. Number 12 for St. Clair fighting for that ball. That's Connor Babel. Ball loose over by the St. Clair net. Back in control by Seaholm. Ball loose on the field. Will go out of bounds out on the Far East sideline. St. Clair back in possession of the ball, taking it upfield. Number eight, Jack Hurley. Scored the goal just a few minutes ago in possession of the ball. Run it in. Oh, okay. Jack turns around. Oh, what a shot by Jack Hurley. Unassisted. Jack Hurley with the second goal of the game. He just fired it in from uh, near that sideline there. What a shot by Hurley. We've got a tie game here. That was an incredible play by Hurley. Again, Hurley... Uh, over by the eastern sideline, uh, did a change of direction and uh, fired it in. Great shot by Jack Hurley. Ties the game up at two. Once again, play resumes out on the field. A little bit of a collision out there. See home in control. We've got an exciting game. Shot by number, I believe it's 33 from See home. We'll see if we can come up with that. Uh, Number, that was Robbie Eberlein. Robbie Eberlein with the goal for Seaholm. Fast paced game again. Uh, substitutions taking place after that goal for both teams. Getting ready for the ball drop here. It's down on the field. Players will crouch down now and get ready for the uh, for the official direction. Whistle goes off. Looks like uh, Seaholm in control. Some very physical play going on out there. St. Clair steals the uh, ball. Heading upfield. Oh, we've got a major collision there. I am thinking there's going to be a yellow flag out on that one. Again, there can be contact out there, but the, uh, the contact can uh, come in forms and uh, where the uh, players can have contact from the waist up, from the side, or from the front, uh, but from the back uh, is not permitted, and I, I believe that's what drew the yellow flag. And I believe there is a player down for one minute that won't be allowed to participate. I didn't catch who that was. Play is going to resume. St. Clair will be in possession of the, uh, the ball. St. Clair setting up their offense. Down by the Birmingham Sea Home net. Ball back in play. Shot over the top. Shot by number, two 20, number 22, Trevor Wallace, uh, goes wide. I should make a uh, correction on what I said earlier. Uh, this is East China Lacrosse, made up of players from St. Clair, Marysville, and Marine City on this team. I apologize, I, uh, I didn't catch that earlier, but I've noticed that uh, many of the players come from the different high schools. Uh, again, lacrosse is a sport that's catching on, and uh, my apologies to Marysville and Marine City uh, for my earlier mention that this was uh, St. Clair Saints team. It is in East China. Uh, lacrosse team made up of teams from St. Clair, Marysville, and Marine City. So, uh, again, uh, my apologies. I think we might have had uh, a turnover here. 
Not sure what's taking place. A little timeout on the field. A couple of things uh, to make mention of in the rules for lacrosse. Uh, the sticks can be used to try to block or maintain control against other sticks. Uh, again, there can be some checking taking place in uh, ways that are permitted above the waist from the side or from the front, but checking from the back is, is not permitted. Very similar to hockey, cross-checking is not something that uh, players can participate in. Um, so the bottom line is this is a very physical game, a very physical game, and it's a fast-paced game, and uh, the players out there have to be at the top of their athletic ability to, uh, to maintain uh, their stamina out there. They're going to be taking a beating during this game. Close game again. Birmingham, Seahome ahead 3-2, to two. but as we saw earlier when it was 2-0, that can change in a hurry. A couple of uh, rules differences, or perhaps we could call them. Uh, the, uh, those on defense, the defenders there cannot go uh, to the offensive end of the field nor can the attackers go to the defensive end of the field. Midfielders can go both on both sides and uh, play both defense and offense. Nice steal. Oh, but he lost the, uh, the ball back in the western end of the field. A lot of contact going on back there. Some physical play. Game very physically uh, being played right now. Some great uh, defensive work by East China lacrosse team. Ball goes up field. St. Clair might be able to make a steal here. Ball's going to head back down to uh, the far north side of the field. Number 21 there, one of the attackers for St. Clair was just hoping that ball would get to him. He's on the uh, right on the uh, mid midfield line there, and the uh, ball just didn't quite make it that far. He couldn't go across, or it would have been uh, an offside. Got a turnover, St. Clair is going to take the ball back, or correction, the East China lacrosse team will be taking the ball back. It's number 28 heading up the field, Connor Fraley. Ball out in front of the net again, oh, what a shot. Number 21 for St. Clair, Matt Jones on an excellent shot. He got a feed, an assist, uh, I didn't see where it came from. It's Trevor Wallace and Jack Hurley with the assist. Uh, cred both credited with the assist, but what a shot. What a shot. Um, and we have a 3-3 tie again for the East China lacrosse team. We've got some substitutions taking place out on the field as the play resumes. What a game going here. 3-3. Number nine for the East China lacrosse team, Luke Parrott, mixing it up out on the field, trying to regain possession. St. Clair is going to get possession here, it looks like. Okay, St. Clair in possession as play resumes, moving it up field. Number 12, Connor Bevel taking it upfield. Ball is loose out in front. Great defensive play by Birmingham Seaholm. Oh, what a steal! Right in front of the net. Oh, great defensive play by the goalie there. I believe that's Conrad Swanson back in the goal, but uh, St. Clair made a nice, or I'm sorry, East China Lacrosse made a nice steal. Had the ball right in front of the net, and uh, the goalie was able to defend it. Birmingham C home back in control. St. Clair with a steal. Make that East China lacrosse with a steal. Connor Bevel with the ball. Ball goes out of bounds.
Ball back out on the field. Both teams vying for possession. Birmingham Seaholm takes possession of it, running it upfield. So it's going to be a turnover. And East China Lacrosse back in possession. East China Lacrosse moving it upfield. It's number 21 for East China Lacrosse. Matt Jones with the ball. Matt Jones sends it over to number eight, Jack Hurley. Jack again already with a couple of goals today. Ball goes out of bounds though. Birmingham Seaholm back in control, heading it up the field. The defender throws it up to the midfielder. And the midfielder takes it in. Ball behind the net. Lots of passing going on out there by Birmingham Seaholm. Number 84 for Seaholm with the ball. Make that 94, Will Forberg. Ball goes loose behind the East China lacrosse net. Birmingham Seaholm with the ball again. It's 94, Will Forberg with the ball. Ball goes loose, looks like a steal. Oh, lots of congestion right out in front of that St. Clair net. Lots of pushing, shoving going on. And uh, I believe there's gonna be a stoppage of play. It was number 77, Noah Rosenfeld, who fell down. Noah with a goal earlier for Birmingham Seaholm. St. Clair, or East China Lacrosse with the ball. Moving it back upfield was lost. Once again, the ball is, I believe we're gonna have a call where maybe one of the attackers crossed the midfield line. And we are at the end of the first 12 minute quarter. Okay. Finding a place to work that's close to home, a place that cares about you and your family? Well, Magna's hiring. Hi, my name is Anthony Finley. I'm the finance intern here at Magna Electric Vehicle Structures in St. Clair, Michigan. I've never been so honored to tell people where I currently work. Um, I, love the t I love the team, I love the facility, and I love everything else about this place. And I'm really proud of the investment that I've made on my future. Hi, my name's Heath Osterbeck, and I've been selling Ford vehicles here in St. Clair County for 21 years. Since we've become a LaFontaine dealership, I feel the guest experience is getting better all the time. Whether it's ordering your vehicle online, having that brand new Ford delivered to your home or office, or imagine us picking up your vehicle for your service needs and getting it back home before your kids need to be picked up from school. That's the LaFontaine family deal. Come see me today or shop online at LaFontaineFordStClair.com. Welcome back to East China Field. We've got the uh, exciting game going here between East China lacrosse team made up of players from Marysville, St. Clair, and Moraine City against Birmingham Seaholm. It's a 3-3 tie as we're beginning the second quarter here, the second period. Exciting matchup for those of you that are just turning into, uh, tuning into lacrosse for the first time. Uh, you're seeing a very fast-paced physical game. Lots of shots on goal. Again, very physical play. Shot on goal by Birmingham Seaholm. The, uh, the goalie for, for St. Clair uh, made an incredible stop. That's Jacob Marchalczyk from St. Clair. Again, from East China lacrosse team. East China back with the, uh, the ball in control. Ball gets loose in front of the uh, Birmingham Seaholm net. Ball is rolling around and Seaholm comes out in control. We might have had a cross check there. 
think that's going to be the call. No? Was not. Okay. Number eight for St. Clair. Jack Hurley with the ball. Sends it in. Behind the net. Over to number 22. Trevor Wallace. Back around. Number 12 for St. Clair. Connor Babel. Trying to get a shot. Lost control. Make that for East China. Trying to make a shot. Lost control. Birmingham Seaholm back in control. Wonderful knockdown by East China's Max Hubbard. Max playing a strong defensive game. Ball goes back uh, to East China. They're taking it in. Number 21, Matt Jones with the ball. Fires it in. Over to Hurley. Hurley in control of the ball. Over to number five, Caden Wolf. Beautiful pass, no, number 21. Matt Jones with the shot. Beautiful setup by Caden Wolf. Wolf with the. Uh, again, uh, beautiful setup by Caden Wolf. Over to Matt Jones for the uh, shot. Caden Wolf, one of the uh, Marysville uh, high school students playing on the East China lacrosse team. Oh, big contact out there. That was number 34, Jack Lambert. Sounds like a uh, linebacker from Pittsburgh took a pretty good shot. <laughs> Nice, nice shot. I uh, believe that was Hurley, but it was uh, stopped over by the goalkeeper, Conrad Swanson, for Birmingham Seaholm. And number 34, Jack Lambert, uh, a little while ago, took a pretty good hit, but uh, got up and shook it off and uh, is continuing to play. Seaholm with a steal heading in towards the St. Clair. Goal blocked by Jacob Markelzik. Ball loose. St. Clair in possession. Number eight, Hurley with the ball, heading in towards the net. Ball goes out of bounds on the Far East sideline. Play is going to resume, and Birmingham Seaholm is going to have possession. Seaholm with the ball. Setting up their uh, attackers for an offensive play here. See home again, uh, ball behind the net. No Rosenfeld for Seaholme with the ball, get, gets rid of it, throws it out front. Ball goes in the net and uh, Seaholme is going to tie this game up 4-4 against East China lacrosse team. Great play. Didn't quite catch who uh, scored that for Seaholme. Yeah, that was James Leibler for uh, Seaholm. Again, we've got an exciting game here. 4-4 tie. Birmingham Seaholm versus our own East China lacrosse team made up of players from Marysville, St. Clair, and Marine City. Whistle blows. I think somebody might have jumped the gun on that one. Looks like Seaholm's going to maintain control. Lights are just coming on. Here at East China Stadium. Oh, 
St. Clair, or I'm sorry, East China regains possession, number 12. Connor Babel. Babel still with the ball. Fighting out uh, in front. Throws it back in to Hurley. Back behind the net. Trevor Wallace with the ball. Throws it back out front. Some very physical play. Nice play. Oh, the ball's going to maybe get to the sideline, and it does. It was... Uh, it's a very physical play there, and uh, St. Clair ends up uh, turning it over to Seaholm. For those of you just joining, it's a 4-4 game between East China Lacrosse and Birmingham Seaholm, an exciting lacrosse game. Lots of physical play. Some great uh, lacrosse skills being shown by both teams. Looks like we've got a yellow flag here. There's going to be a stoppage of play here in just a minute. See home still with the ball. Ball goes behind the net to Rosenfeld. Rosenfeld in control again. He's playing that uh, quarterback position back there, trying to find another attacker. To set up a play. See home still with the ball. Liebler with the ball, throws it in. Ball loose. Liebler throws it back in front of the net. Back out to Rosenfeld. It's a very physical play. Oh, an incredible stop by Marchesic. Great, great stop by the East China goalie, Jacob Marchesic. That ball had some, uh, had some velocity on it as it was coming in and a big crowd of people. I don't even know how he saw it, but, uh, but he did. Birmingham meet. Uh, Seaholm is going to maintain control of the ball. Got a stoppage of play on the field. Looks like we've got uh, some substitutions going in. Number three, Andrew McBride heading into the game for the East China Lacrosse team. Seaholm with the ball. Shot fired on goal, missed. Okay, St. Clair back in possession. Oh, a little bit of a misplay there. And Seaholm maintains control. Seaholm taking the ball upfield. Again, that's James Liebler with the ball. Back behind the net to Rosenfeld. Over to Robbie Elberman. Scored a goal already once today. Rosenfeld throws the ball back out front. Looks like we might have a steal from the East China lacrosse team uh, and a yellow flag comes out. Like he, uh, the officials indicating that an elbow was thrown in that. Uh, number 34, Jack Lambert coming off the field. Number three, Tyson Frazier heading out there in his place. Tyson Frazier from Marysville High School. Nice play by Tyson Frazier. He just got out there using his stick. It's a tool. Great play by Tyson Frazier from Marysville High School. St. Clair back in possession. 
Number three, Andrew McBride taking the ball up field. Over to number 22. Oh, the ball just missed. Oh, once again. The ball went a mile high. East China lacrosse team had two excellent opportunities there, and I, I'm thinking it might have hit the post on both of them. Both shots were fired in, and, uh, and the ball just did not go inside the net. East China lacrosse team back in control. Andrew McBride back with the ball. Ball deflected as he threw a shot on goal. St. or East China lacrosse team still back in possession of the ball. Number 21, Matt Jones in possession, throws the ball out front. Over to number 10, Secure Yan. Number 14, Ryan Wynn with the ball. Over to number three, Andrew McBride. McBride uh, trying to maintain possession of it. Looks like it's going to be East China Lacrosse team's ball. Play resumes, it's gonna be in possession of East China Lacrosse team. East China Lacrosse still out in front. Nice pass. Number three uh, shot on goal there. That's Andrew McBride. Fired it out just a little bit wide. Saw a little bit of an opening and uh, tried to get it in and just, just missed wide to the left. Contact out there. Big contact out there. Yellow uh, flag comes out. East China Lacrosse player will be coming off the field. It's Caden Hudson for the East China Lacrosse team coming off. And number 18, Hunter Hansen of Marysville heading back out onto the field. Got a couple of other uh, substitutions going in. As we've got a stoppage play, I just want to uh, introduce a couple of folks that are helping uh, make this broadcast possible. Down in the booth, uh, Sully Smith, Troy Voigt, Carter Barnes, Molly McNabb, and Lily down there, uh, making sure this broadcast all works well. We also have Bill Duro on the clock, as we have for many of our sporting events here in, in, uh, at the East China Stadium. Uniquely, uh, we've got two James Joneses up in the booth, too. James Jones uh, doing uh, the uh, PA announcing for the game and myself uh, doing the, uh, the broadcast here tonight. I don't know what the odds of that happening are, but, it, uh, but it's happening tonight. Got a break in the play here. Both teams taking uh, some time there to uh, discuss the uh, the game. Again, we've got a great game, 4-4 tie. It's a deadlock here between the East China Lacrosse team and the Birmingham Seaholm Lacrosse team. It's been a very physical game, been a very, very fast-paced game. Lots of shots on goal. Again, if this is your first lacrosse uh, game, watching your first lacrosse game, this is, uh, this is an exciting sport. I know CTV will be covering uh, several of the uh, games for the East China lacrosse team uh, as the season goes on. Got about two minutes left in this second quarter. Also, we we'll got a break on the field. We want to thank Paul Dingaman again, his great work with CTV for many, many, many years, probably uh, more years than, uh, than uh, I can even count on two hands, maybe three hands with CTV. I, I will even call it a decades or two. Uh, but Paul has done a wonderful job with CTV and uh, 
making sure that these broadcasts and community television keep on taking place. Thank you, Paul, for all you've done. Play resumes. Birmingham see home with the ball. Out behind the St. Clair, or behind the East China Lacrosse team net. Rosenfeld uh, loses the ball out of bounds. Looks like it's going to go towards East uh, China Lacrosse team's possession. Ball goes up field number five. Caden Wolf with the ball. Running it upfield. Nice pass. Oh, unfortunately, the uh, lacrosse stick uh, was dropped by the East China lacrosse player. Seaholm uh, trying to hurry play up here, getting it downfield. Seaholm's looking at uh, one minute left in this quarter and scores a goal. I believe that was Will Forberg again with the goal. Will Forberg's got a couple of goals for today. That gives Birmingham Seaholm the lead over the East China lacrosse team. With one minute and seven seconds left in the second quarter. play resumes. We've got about a minute left in the second quarter. Heading towards halftime. East China with the ball. East China looking for perhaps one last opportunity before the half. That's number eight, Jack Hurley with the ball. Jack Hurley again with the ball. Looking for uh, someone to pass it to. Letting the clock roll down just a little bit, perhaps. He's being heavily defended right now. Breaks loose. Jack Hurley still with the ball. Clock's kicked down, 25 seconds left. Jack Hurley uh, lost the ball. Saint, or East China Lacrosse recovers it. Number three, Andrew McBride. McBride running towards the goal. Andrew McBride with a shot. And uh, the ball is stopped by the goalie, Conrad Swanson. Ball heading back the other way. One second left, and we are at the halftime. Well, thank you again for the uh, watching the first half of this exciting game. And uh, we will see you at the beginning of the second half. scale by revealing nothing but the shape of its logo. It's considered an iconic brand. For over 100 years, the Chevy bow tie remains just that, iconic. The mark of a cultural phenomenon, connecting work hard, play hard loyalists from across the globe and right here at home. To experience the Chevy phenomenon and find new roads, visit LaFontaine Chevrolet Buick GMC.com today. Thought about changing your job, finding a place to work that's close to home, a place that cares about you and your family? Well, Magna's hiring. Hi, my name is Jennifer Riley. I'm the Human Resources Manager here at Magna Electric Vehicle Structures in St. Clair. Our team is growing fast, our facility is expanding, and we're looking to hire about 900 new, new team members. So if you're interested in opportunities in engineering, skilled trades, production operation, or any other position, you can go to magna.com slash careers. That's magna.com slash careers. North Star Bank, your local community bank serving St. Clair, Sadlac, Huron, and Washtenaw County. When you need a local community bank for home loans, checking, savings, and other banking needs, North Star Bank is the community bank that you want to deal with. The bank that will take care of all your personal and business needs. North Star Bank has a new mobile application that you can download to make banking even easier. 
North Star Bank, guiding the way, member FDIC. This kind of feel, watch an exciting game between the East China Lacrosse team and the Birmingham Sea Home Lacrosse team. Uh, as we head into the second half, we've got Birmingham Sea Home up 5-4 to four against the East uh, China Lacrosse team. Uh, again, as we begin play, just wanted to make mention, this is uh, an East China Lacrosse team made up of players from St. Clair High School, Marysville High School, Marine City High School. Uh, play is about ready to resume on the official's whistle. Play resumes, and it looks like the East China Lacrosse team is going to maintain control of the ball. Oh, just lost over uh, near the midfield uh, area. Seaholm has the ball back. He's taking it upfield. Seaholm with the ball heading down towards the East China net. Ball heads back into the backfield. Again, uh, midfield and attackers are those who are going to be vying to get the ball in. Nice shot by number 94. That would be Will Forsberg again. Forberg, I'm sorry, Will Forberg. Forberg, multiple goals this game. Again, this, uh, in this game, the action happens very fast. Uh, we're just a couple of seconds into the uh, second half here, and, uh, and Birmingham Seaholm already scores a goal. Getting ready for the official's whistle. The midfield stripe. Notice uh, both uh, opponents uh, on all fours as the whistle goes off, as they vie for possession of the ball. There's a whistle, looks like Sihom uh, Make It East China is going to have possession of the ball as we move forward here. Well, we've had some exciting play. Again, the game score right now being Birmingham Sihom 6, East China Lacrosse 4. Uh, that can change up in a hurry, as we've seen uh, during the first half. Uh, the game went both uh, in favor of Sihom as well as East China at times. And uh, at, as we speak right now, uh, Seaholm has the advantage, 6-4, to four, but Sinclair with the ball. Again, Seaholm still trying to defend the uh, goal against, Saint, or against East China. Andrew McBride with the ball over to Hurley. Back over to Jack Lambert. East China back in possession. The ball was loose. Jack Hurley with the ball. Have a call by the official. Stop of play. It's going to be a turnover. Ball's going to go back the other way for Seaholm. Exciting game here. Very physical, as we had mentioned earlier. Uh, Seaholm just lost the ball there. We've got an opportunity for East China lacrosse. Ball goes directly out front. Uh, ooh, Jack Hurley back in possession there. Trying to get that ball out in front of the net. Hurley back in possession again. Hurley covering a lot of ground for East China Lacrosse. Back over to McBride for East China Lacrosse. Over to number 12, Connor Babel. Ball heading to the out of bounds uh, line there on the far west side. That was number. 21, Matt Jones for East China Lacrosse trying to catch up to it, but it's going to be a turnover to Seaholm. Forberg running it upfield for Seaholm. Forberg with multiple goals for Seaholm at this point of the game. Birmingham, Seaholm still in control. 77, Noah Roensfeld behind the goal. Back over to Forberg. Oh, the ball is uh, shot on goal, but uh, it looked like it hit a stick and went way over the net. Seaholm still in control. That's Rosenfeld with the ball. Rosenfeld making some moves, trying to get it out in front. Uh, loses control. It's number nine, Luke Parrott for East China Lacrosse with the ball. Luke Parrott running up field. Uh, 
Ball goes upfield. Intercepted by Seaholm. Intercepted by East China Lacrosse. Again, nice play by East China Lacrosse. That's number four, Max Hubbard for East China Lacrosse, taking it upfield. Max uh, playing a midfield position. He can go both on, uh, on both sides of the midfield line. Ball goes out front, score! Beautiful pass. Number four, Max Hubbard with a beautiful pass. Try to get the number of the player that shot the goal. Trevor Wallace with a goal for East China Lacrosse. Trevor Wallace being a Marysville student, playing on the East China Lacrosse team. Great play uh, by Max Hubbard and by Trevor Wallace there uh, to make this a one-point game, six to five. Birmingham Seaholme play resumes. Well, Jack Lambert. Uh, Getting hit on both sides by uh, two of the Seaholm players. Uh, but it uh, looks like it's going to be East China Lacrosse's team's ball. Yeah, some very physical play out there. Chase Jones uh, just uh, took a shoulder, knocked himself down. Chase Jones with the ball, running up field. Loses control. Looks like it's going to be Birmingham Seaholm's ball. Seaholm with the ball. 91. Davis Niemeyer with the ball. It's the first time I think we've called his name today. Out there getting some playing time for Seaholm. Again, we've got an excellent game going here. One point game, 6 5. Seven minutes remaining in the third quarter. St. Clair in possession, or East China in possession, rather. Big hit. Uh, number 27 of Seaholm, Josh Hammonds, uh, put a shoulder into one of the East China lacrosse players, losing, making the uh, player lose control. See home back in control. Rosenfeld over uh, to Forsberg. Forsberg back in control. Forsberg with a shot goes wide to the left. Fired that one, uh, but missed wide to the left. For those of you just joining us, thrilling game going on here. It's a one-point game. Birmingham Seahome up six to five against East China Lacrosse. Lots of action, lots of uh, physical play. This game almost runs non-stop for these players. St. Clair intercepts. It's taking the ball downfield. Number 30, Zerverio Pulowitz of Marysville. High school student from Marysville High School that made that steal and took it upfield. Nicely done. Number eight, Jack Hurley with the ball. Again, Jack, uh, very active out in front of the Birmingham Seaholm net. Number five, Caden Wolf into the game. For East China Lacrosse. Caden Wolf also from Marysville. Counter Babel back into the game. Lots of substitutions going on uh, with the physical play and the fast pace of this game. Certainly, substitutions are a necessity. One of the uh, obvious 
uh, advantages perhaps the East China Lacrosse team has. They have 31 players on their roster. Shot, oh, knocked down. Jack Hurley back with the ball. Over to Connor Babel. Jack Hurley back with the ball for East China Lacrosse. Number three. McBride, for East China Lacrosse, fires a shot wide to the right. East China Lacrosse going to maintain possession. Jack Hurley fires on. Nice shot by Jack Hurley, set up perfectly by Connor Babel. And what seemed like a wide margin is now tied up. East China six, Birmingham Seahome six. We've got a tie game. With the fast paced activity, things can change up in a hurry and they just did. East China lacrosse coming back and tying the game up on a terrific shot by Jack Hurley. As the official whistle goes off, play resumes. Birmingham Seaholm in control. It's Forberg with the ball. Big collision. Out in front. Birmingham Seaholm still in control. I believe that's Forberg back with the ball. Forberg for Seaholm, uh, very active in this game. Loses a stick and the ball. Ball is taken back upfield. Number 21, Matt Jones for East China Lacrosse. Matt Jones from St. Clair. That's Hurley stealing the ball. Hurley taking it downfield. Hurley's got an opportunity, a breakaway here. Shoots, unassisted. Jack Hurley again. Saint East China Lacrosse takes the lead, seven to six, on an unassisted goal by Jack Hurley. Jack Hurley having an incredible game for the East China Lacrosse team. With three minutes and forty-two seconds left in the third quarter. East China Lacrosse takes the lead over Birmingham Seahome. As we wish, wait for the officials to get the play resumed. Play is back resumed. Birmingham Seahome in control, taking it upfield, and uh, the ball popped out of the Seahome player's stick as he was running. East China back in control, number 21, Matt Jones from St. Clair High School. Turnover. Seahome back in control. Forberg with the ball behind the net. Seahome still in control. Number 26, Cooper Clark. Cooper Clark loses the ball momentarily, still has not got control. Ball being fought for. Number 14, Ryan Wynn of East China Lacrosse fighting for it. Ryan Wynn playing tough over on that far east sideline. Ryan Wynn from Marysville High School. Number five into the game, Caden Wool for East China Lacrosse. East China in possession. Jack Hurley again with the ball. Jack Hurley's played a whale of a game. Jack Hurley hugs that east sideline. Takes a check to the back, keeps on going. 
Looks like the you know, number 22, Trevor Wallace with the ball. Trevor Wallace uh, showing some great footwork out there. Getting clear. Back over Jack Hurley. Jack Hurley tries to get it in. Stop. Jack took a pretty good shot there in front of the net. Back up on his feet, though. And there is a goal, number 94, Forsberg, again for Birmingham Seaholm, scores a goal. And we have got a tie ball game here. With a minute 22, we've got a tie game. Forberg himself has had quite a game today. I believe that might be number four for Forberg, which is incredible in a 7-7 game, and he's got perhaps four goals here. It's hard to keep track. The uh, the goals keep uh, going in on both sides, so it's hard to keep track and how many goals each player has, but uh, Forberg has certainly been responsible for several of them for Birmingham Seahome. East China Lacrosse is going to get a turnover here and uh, have possession of the ball. Play resumes. It's number 12, Connor Babel for East China Lacrosse. Over Jack Hurley. Over to McBride. McBride with the ball, taking it in towards the net. Loses control. Much contact going on that field on the field there. Like number 87, Andrew Johnson from Seaholm uh, collided with a couple of these China players, and uh, play was uh, stopped. And uh, East China is back in possession of the ball. Ball behind the net. Trevor Wallace with the ball loses control. Number 36. Alec Rothwell for Seaholm uh, gained control. Ball back in front of the net. Uh, shot goes wide to the left of the St. Clair net. Seaholm back in control of the ball. And we are done with the third quarter. Thought about changing your job, finding a place to work that's close to home, a place that cares about you and your family? Well, Magna's hiring. Hi, my name is David McCurdy. I work here at the Magna Electric Vehicles in St. Clair. I am a leak test lead working for production. Really enjoy coming to work every day. Uh, new opportunities to and different challenges each and every day. If you're looking for a great place to work, you got a great group of people here from the top down. Um, the culture is amazing. There's lots of opportunities to move up, um, and we're still growing. Well, they've got drink specials every day. Rooms upstairs if you want to stay. If you love music, hit it play at the good old Murphy Inn. At the good old Murphy Inn. Looking for a great spot to enjoy lunch or dinner with fantastic daily food and happy hour specials? Look no further than the Murphy Inn in St. Clair. This is Paul, owner of the Murphy Inn. Our chiming Irish pub features different food and drink specials every day of the week, plus live entertainment every Wednesday through Saturday. The inn even offers seven unique hotel rooms complete with modern amenities, perfect for overnight stays or a weekend getaway. There ain't no doubt we're going out to the good old Murphy Inn. Welcome back to East China Field, where we've got an exciting 7-7 tie with the East China lacrosse team versus the Birmingham Seahome lacrosse team. This has been an incredible game. Uh, very physical, very fast moving, lots of scoring taking place. Uh, this is lacrosse uh, at its finest. We're getting ready to start the final period here. Again, uh, both players will get down and in and, and almost like a crab-like position, and the official will blow the whistle. The play will resume. And it looks like uh, the East China lacrosse team, no, it's going to be Seaholm's ball going the other way. No, it is going to be Saint East China's ball going the other way. McBride with the ball, taking it in. 
McBride loses it as he was running, but it looks like East China is going to pick it back up. That's number 21. Matt Jones. Matt Jones scores! And East China Lacrosse takes the lead. Incredible shot by Matt Jones. What a play. Gives East China Lacrosse the lead. Matt Jones, a St. Clair High School student, playing for this East China Lacrosse team. See one of the officials threw a yellow flag also. It looks like he's talking to the Birmingham Seahome coach explaining what the call was. Lots of action and lots of activity on the field. It was really hard to tell where uh, that flag was originated from, but uh, play is going to resume here again with East China Lacrosse taking the lead, 8-7. to seven. Jack Lambert with the ball for East China Lacrosse. Jack Lambert, very tough player out there. Ball is taken by Seaholm. Over to the goalie, or to the goal, uh, goaltender for Seaholm. Still in possession of it. Over to the far east side there. Taking the ball up. Defender throws the ball up to the attacker. Seaholm with the ball out in front. Ball is lost. The attacker has it again for Seaholm. Seaholm with the ball. Seaholm taking it in. Davis Neymar for uh, Seaholm with the ball, just uh, passed it off. Got some new legs. It's number 94, Will Forberg again with the ball. Forberg with multiple goals in this game for Seaholm. Rough, tough play out in front of that Seaholm net. Rosenfeld takes a shot. Stop. By Melcharzik. Ball is loose. Back in possession of Seaholm. And it's going to be a turnover, and it'll be East China's ball heading back the other way. East China taking it upfield. Back behind the net. Number 22, Trevor Wallace. Trevor Wallace out behind the net. Over to number five, Caden Wolf. Caden Wolf back to the inside. 21. Oh, what a shot. Matt Jones again. From number five, Caden Wolf. What a pass by Caden Wolf. What an incredible play. What an incredible pass by Caden Wolf up to Matt Jones in the center of the field right in front of the net. Jones turned and uh, flipped it in. That gives East China Lacrosse a two-goal lead with nine minutes and 32 seconds remaining in this game. Again, play resumes at midfield. Number 12, Connor Babel fighting for the ball. Still nobody in possession, and Seaholm grabs possession of the ball. Seaholm takes it in towards the net. Fires wide to the right. 98 Jack Lovell for Seaholm firing that shot. Missed wide to the right. East China back in possession. It's number four for East China taking the ball upfield. Max Hubbard. Oh, nicely done. Number 14, Ryan Wynn with the ball. I don't know how he got that, but uh, he picked it out of the air. Lots of uh, physical action taking place. We've got a couple of players on both teams down on the ground. Looks like it's going to be East China's ball.
Opportunity for uh, East China goes awry. Officials have done a nice job this uh, contest. I just have one of the officials' names that would be Steve Hubble out officiating the game. Uh, there's two others assisting him. I don't have their names, but uh, they've done a fine job during this game, keeping things in control. Again, very, very physical game out there. Yet things seem to be uh, being played very well. East China back in possession of the ball. Ball goes loose. Some very good physical play. Oh! Number three, Andrew McBride, tried to scoop that up off the ground uh, and missed. It will be a turnover going towards Seaholm. Robbie Elderman from Seaholm takes the ball upfield. Gage Waters out there for Seaholm now. Rosenfeld with the ball right now. Tough guy on the Seaholm team. He's uh, he's played, uh, taken some knocks and given some out there also right in front of the net. Uh, tough player out there for Seaholm. He's played a good game. Noah Rosenfeld, number 77. East China back with the ball. Ball goes up front to McBride. McBride's going to take it upfield. McBride showing some speed and some moves. McBride still with the ball, moving around. McBride right out in front of the net. I don't know how he made it all the way over there. Dishes it off. Number 22, Trevor Wallace with the ball. Behind the net, over to number five, Caden Wolf. Wolf with the ball on the far east side. Yellow flag comes out. Play keeps on going. So there's a change of possession, I believe. And yeah. Fissels will uh, call the play dead, and they'll sort out the yellow flag here. Twelve heading out there for the East China team. Connor Babel. Just heard uh, one of the officials say one of the calls was too many men on the field. Not sure I've heard that call yet today. That's the first time I've heard that. Again, as we uh, get towards the end of the game here, St. Clair is holding a 9-7 to lead over Birmingham Seaholm. East China, I should say. East China holding the lead over Birmingham Seaholm. It's a tough call. Uh, this East China team uh, wearing the colors of the St. Clair Saints there. But it is a team made up of Marysville, St. Clair, and Marine City players. Nice passing taking place out there in front of the net. East China still in control. Jack Hurley with the ball again. Hurley has played a fine game. Scored a couple of goals. Certainly a big part of the uh, the lead that the East China lacrosse team has. Takes a shot, goes wide to the left. About six minutes left in this game. Again, East China lacrosse up 9-7 to seven over Birmingham Seaholm. Number five, Caden Wolf with the ball. Over to McBride. Andrew McBride with the ball, moving in. Still with the ball, moving around the field. McBride's got some nice moves out there. East China still with the ball. I believe that's Jack Hurley behind the net. Jack Hurley looking for someone to pass the ball to. Jack Hurley still with the ball, moves out in front, passes the ball. Caden Mc, or I'm sorry, uh, Andrew McBride with the ball. Ball behind the net. East China lacrosse very much in control of the uh, ball back there behind the net and uh, out in front. Showing some very nice offensive skills passing the ball around. Jack Hurley again with the ball. 
Over to Andrew McBride. Trevor Wallace with the ball. Behind the net. Trevor Wallace moving out front. He's taken down to the ground hard. Looks like there's going to be a turnover. I think it's going to be Seaholm's ball going the other way. Four minutes, 48 seconds left in this contest. So says, says Bill Duro on the clock. Birmingham Seaholm moves in to the East China goal. Birmingham Seaholm back in control. Passing the ball around. Over to Forberg. Forberg uh, in control. Running towards the net. Looking for someone to pass it to. Over to Rosenfeld. Shot on. Off wide right. It was number 33. Robbie, Robbie Elderman making that shot. Went wide to the right. Birmingham Seaholm still in control of the ball though. Play resumes. Nice steal. East China taking it upfield. It's number 20, Cullen Myers taking it upfield. Goes on net. Seaholm back in control of the ball. Seaholm throwing the ball up front. Rosenfeld with the ball behind the net for Seaholm. Rosenfeld's played a nice game so far this uh, game. Forberg again with the ball out in front, moving in, loses the ball. Over number three, Robbie Elderman for Seaholm. Looks like there's going to be a turnover here or a timeout, it looks like. Timeout on the field, three minutes and 17 seconds left in this contest. Coaches will gather their teams and come up with their uh, strategies to finish this game off. Again, East China Lacrosse up. 9-7 to seven over Birmingham Seaholm. What an incredible game this has been. Once again, a little bit about the East China lacrosse team. As I mentioned earlier, 31 players. 13 are from St. Clair High School. 15 are from Marysville High School. And 3 are from Marine City High School. With 31 players, it's showing a very strong interest in, uh, in perhaps uh, moving this sport along. And eventually, perhaps... Each high school will have a team, but for right now, this combined team uh, seems to gel very well and play very well together. East China fired up here for the final three minutes and 17 seconds. Just kind of want to make mention of uh, the St. Clair goalkeeping. Jacob Marchelzik has played an incredible game, as has Conrad Swanson for Birmingham Seaholm. Many, many shots on goal for both teams. Right now, East China Lacrosse has the advantage. Players heading back out onto the field after that timeout. It's been a beautiful night for a lacrosse game. And an exciting game for the fans. I should make mention, the stadium has really got a lot of fans out there watching this game. Perfect night to come out and watch lacrosse. I'm guessing there might be over 100 people in the stands for this game, which, uh, which is really an incredible turnout. Ga again, game uh, resumes. Seaholm takes a shot on goal, goes far left and high. You can hear the coach uh, telling the players out there, give me three more minutes with all you got. Nine to seven lead will uh, hold if uh, the players can maintain that lead for East China Lacrosse. Shot out front. Oh, we've got a one-point game now. Right. 
It was Cooper Clark for Seaholm. With two minutes and 38 seconds left, we have got a one goal lead here for the East China lacrosse team. Uh, this is gonna be an incredible two minutes and 38 seconds. See who can maintain control of the uh, ball as the whistle blows here to begin play again. Whistle blows, fighting for the ball. Oh, we got a little push from behind. I think it's a good call. This China's going to gain possession of the ball, which is important with two minutes and 33 seconds left. Every tick of that clock will be important for both teams. Ball goes up front. Number 21, Matt Jones with the ball. Trying to find someone to... Uh, Dish it off to two minutes and 13 seconds left in this contest. Matt Jones still in possession over on that far east sideline. Dishes it back. It's number two, Tre Trevor Wallace. Trevor Wallace with the ball. Trevor Wallace dishes it off to Hurley, Hurley throws, whoa, what a shot by Hurley. Might have to call that a hook shot, what a shot. Jack Hurley. Yeah, we don't wanna take anything from Trevor Wallace either, that was an incredible pass off to Jack Hurley, but Hurley just made an incredible shot. And that gives uh, the East China lacrosse team a little bit of distance, score 10 to eight. I'm sure that has to uh, 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 kind of deflate uh, the excitement for Birmingham Seaholm, seeing that uh, lead increase for East China lacrosse by two goals. Still uh, a minute 30, and as we have seen in this game, it doesn't take long for the scores to change. Clock is ticking at uh, about a minute and a half left. Seaholm is going to have possession of the ball. Takes it in. Lots of action. Seaholm trying to hurry the play up a little bit. Rosenfeld with the ball behind the net. Rosenfeld's going to have to do something in a hurry here if they're uh, going to try to score. Nice pass. Oh, big hit. Oh, big hit. Changes possession. I don't believe it was Caden Hudson back there on defense put on a big hit. And uh, as a result, Birmingham Seaholm lost control of the, the ball and uh, probably even more important as they were vying for the ball after that, the clock was ticking. 49 seconds left in this contest. Incredible game going on right now. Got a timeout on the field. A lot of excitement in the stands. Fans from both uh, East China lacrosse team as well as the Birmingham Sea home team are, I'm sure, uh, uh, anxiously awaiting the final seconds of this game to see how it turns out. Even though East China Lacrosse has got a two-goal lead, we have seen goals scored in a very short period of time, so this game is not over, even with a two-goal lead. East China Lacrosse all fired up as they go back out onto the field with the 49 se seconds remaining. It is going to be Seaholm's ball, though. Seaholm will be in possession of the ball with these remaining 49 seconds. Will Forberg is going to start out with the ball, and uh, as we have seen with Will Forberg throughout this game, uh, he is uh, he's quite active. He's heading in towards the net, fires on net. Uh, the ball is deflected, goes behind the goal. It's going to be Saint, or East China's ball. They're going to be in possession. East China lacrosse will be in possession as 
There are 39 seconds remaining. Ball goes out of bounds on the far east sideline. It'll be Birmingham Seaholm's ball. Seaholm with the ball again. Seaholm trying to get it to the net. East China playing great defense. It's all clogged up in the middle there. They can't get anything through. Ball is loose. Still hasn't gone out. And it goes out. The clock will stop with... Eight seconds left. East China lacrosse maintaining a two goal lead with eight seconds left. This is looking good for the East China lacrosse team. Official stop play momentarily here. Again, some great defensive work by the East China lacrosse team. Clogging up that middle. Not allowing that ball to get towards the net. Rosenfeld there running behind the net. That's not going to help them. And the game comes to an end. What an incredible game. East China lacrosse wins this game. 10-8 over Birmingham Seaholm. On behalf of everyone up here in the booth and those down in the trailer, I want to certainly have, a, uh, have the best wishes for everyone as we say good night at East China Stadium. Final score, East China Lacrosse 10, Birmingham Seaholm 8. This CTV Sports presentation was brought to you by Magna, magna.com slash careers, with support from LaFontaine, Chevy, Buick, GMC, where you get the family deal. By Murphy Inn Restaurant and Hotel in St. Clair. By LaFontaine Ford, where you get the family deal. And by North Star Bank, North Star guiding the way. And of course, by CTV, your community TV channel in Marine City and St. Clair.